What is this place? There are three moons in the sky, and the crabs here are bigger than a truck. These three people are shocked. The crab came at them fast, but fell into the hot spring and then was spewed out into a nice dinner. They gobbled it up. But the crab was too big to be a creature from Earth. What's going on? It turns out that John is a quantum field scientist. He came to a mysterious cave to test the newly invented equipment. But the cave suddenly collapsed. They were swept into the space-time vortex and the time machine is nowhere to be found. When they woke up, they seemed to be in another world where the sky was strange and the desert was all around. Not far away, they found three primitive monkeys. One of them tried to kill his companion. They rushed to stop him and save him. Fortunately, Jenny slightly understand their language. After the exchange of information that the monkey is the prince of the tribe has thousands of wives, John was very jealous. During the chase, the ground suddenly shakes violently. They fell into a mysterious cave, where there are white bones everywhere, and danger is creeping closer. And then they were dragged by vines to hang in midair. At that moment John heard the roar of dinosaurs. They rushed to find a way to get out suddenly a Tyrannosaurus Rex appeared in front of them. It chewed through the vines and then chased them. And between life and death David actually let his teammates take pictures of him. He was so weird. Luckily, there was a one-way bridge not far away. And the Tyrannosaurus was stopped on the opposite side, seeing that he didn't dare to come over. John started to mock the dinosaur saying that it was simple-minded, limbless and had a brain smaller than a walnut. The dinosaur was so angry that it crossed the cliff and tried to bite them again. But luckily they escaped by hiding in a cave. But the Tyrannosaurus Rex was so strange that he sent a huge walnut to prove his intelligence. Tyrannosaurus Rex and John have also formed a deep hatred. This is a magical continent where crabs are bigger than trucks. Mosquitoes can suck the blood out of people. And the most inedible thing is the fruit here. Eat. Thank you, Chaka. Thank you so much. Has a pungent flavor. It smells good. Very meat. John was scared out of his mind, and he rushed to get rid of the spiders on his body. One night the nightmare came again. A giant mosquito on the shoulder, but John did not know. Then he fell pale, sucked full of blood mosquitoes as big as a ball. John lost too much blood instantly fainted. The next day he woke up with a large abscess on his back. They feel that this place is too terrible. They must find the time machine to hurry back. Then they found two fighting Tyrannosaurus Rex. They wanted to take a picture to see the action. But John said, Virtually nothing will distract them from each other. The two Tyrannosaurs turned their heads and looked at the three. They desperately run away. John found a bottle of liquid nitrogen on the road. In an emergency they loaded the liquid nitrogen into a rock thrower. A beautiful catapult just into the mouth of the dinosaur. The dinosaur's body covered with ice crystals cried out in pain and fell to the ground. With an explosion, the meat like rain on the ground. Just then they found the time machine in the pile of meat. They rushed forward but the time machine was taken away by the pterodactyl and flew to a distant volcano. John was desperate, but only the time machine can let them go home. They had to go over the mountains and finally found the nest of the pterodactyl. The time machine is right in front of them. But the surrounding area is full of dinosaur eggs. And at the critical moment, their teammates are lying down and pretending to be dead. John had to go alone. He wandered through it with ease, as if a world-class dancer. He just got the machine. But something terrible happened. All the eggs around him cracked open. And the pterosaurs inside began to break out of their shells. One by one, the pterosaurs broke out of their shells. And to prevent them from screaming John sang a lullaby. You ready? Under the beautiful song, the baby dinosaurs slept peacefully, but they hadn't eaten for six months. Just then a giant crab came flying at them, and they were powerless to resist. However, the earth began to shake violently, and the crab suddenly fell into the hot spring and was swept out by a wave of heat. John's heart was very happy. They began to enjoy a seafood meal, but after eating Jenny disappeared. It turns out that there is a terrible race on this continent. The lizard people. They are bent on taking over the earth and plan to use the time machine to transport their troops. Jenny was locked in a cage and the sacrifice ceremony was about to begin. Luckily, their teammates arrived just in time. They remove their disguises and fight with the lizard men. But they seem to be invulnerable to guns and swords. John took the opportunity to jump into the cage and risked his life to save Jenny. Faced with this brave man, Jenny can't hold back any longer. 
and she falls in love with John. It was too late to celebrate. The Tyrannosaurus Rex came to seek revenge. John and he started to struggle, but he was no match for the dinosaur. He decided to jump on top and tame the dinosaur. He rushed towards the dinosaur with a bamboo pole in his hand, and then did a world-class pole vault. His teammates scream, and the dinosaur hiccups and walks away in style. But just as they were being mobbed by the lizard people, John returned on the dinosaur in a dominating manner. After being swallowed, he finally cured the Tyrannosaurus Rex of years of constipation by digging all the way to the stomach. So they became brothers who knew each other well. John manipulated the Tyrannosaurus Rex to fight, smashing it with his tail and biting it with his teeth. Under the cover of the dinosaurs, they finally caught the leader of the Lizardmen. During the fight, the energy crystal was shattered. This is the end. The portal will disappear soon. They rushed to the exit, but David was caught by the leader. But he never thought that David was already attracted to the monkey's 7,000 wives. He told the two of them to hurry back, and he himself stayed on the continent forever. As expected, the prince's wives were all hot. David was surrounded by women, and from then on he lived a happy life.